Hog is an experimental electronic music project. We've been working on this project seriously for about three years now. And this week's been all about getting it onto the stage, playing it live. We use lots of different sound sources. There's a piece called Belastica, which is sort of based on Bartok's wax cylinder recordings. And we just recorded like an elastic band on a piece of polystyrene, so it's this real twangy kind of big attack kind of sound. But it's our way of creating this old Hungarian instrument called a gardon. It's based on East European folk music and Bartok's collection of folk song on early recording technology. So that was a kind of historical reference as well as a musical one because we're obviously working with, you know, quite advanced technology. So we wanted to use that kind of really authentic sound of early recordings. Selena had these crackers one Christmas and then came round sort of after Christmas with this lovely offering of these little whistles and that we combined them with some photo camera lens blowers into this funny little instrument. Really nice little sounds, but we, we sampled these sounds and, and, you know, transposed them, manipulated them in lots of different ways. And it's amazing what you can do. I've got my dad's old collection of tools and, you know, some of the spanners that just sound beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful sounds and they also reflect the light in really nice ways. So we recorded these and then manipulated them. So, they be I mean, you can do a lot with a spanner sound, basically. So, you know, there's, there's, other, there's a few tunes that they feature in. <laughs> more of a multimedia project which is really exciting and we've been getting into Jitter as well with the help of Paul Nebel who's sort of our engineer helper which is live visuals generated by sound and that's something we want to develop a lot more. I'm really into everything from like medieval and renaissance counterpoint to, you know, dance music, um, lots of stuff in between. And I think all of those influences kind of filter through in ways that I couldn't kind of pinpoint. I love making things. I've always made things as a kid. I mean, I used to spend all my time in the garage playing with bits of wood and stuff like that. But it feels great, you know, making these objects, creating these sounds. Really, the music is, is very sculptural in a way because, you know, it's very much we're putting that sound there and, you know, in time and space and, you know, we're constructing this environment.